Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are. We are delighted to be here tonight to play a concert for you, although unfortunately in front of an empty hall. We wish you were all with us tonight uh, to view this spectacular view of Jerusalem and to enjoy the great acoustics of this hall at the BYU Jerusalem Center. We prepared a wonderful program for you. We will start with Joseph Haydn, Divertimento number one. Haydn wrote uh, six divertimenti for uh, different sizes of um, wind groups. Usually they are played outside to amuse the, the public, the, the queens and the kings at the time. And this one, the Divertimento number one, is special because the second movement is the Chorale of St. Anthony, uh, which is a very famous chorale that also uh, Brahms uh, later uh, used this chorale in, in a famous uh, symphonic piece, uh, variation on a theme by Joseph Haydn. So this uh, divertimento number one with four movements. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
So, um, as you might be able to see, we have a few uh, small problems connected to the pipes because we, uh, wind instruments are basically pipes. So we are looking for a solution. In the meanwhile, I can um, tell you a few words about the pieces we're going to play next when we have a bassoon uh, ready again. So we're going to play uh, two chorals of Bach and the names of the chorals, one is Jesu Leiden, Pain und Tod, which actually means um, the suffering of Jesus, pain and death. So it's not very optimistic, um, it's, um, but it's very beautiful music. And uh, the, the other choral we're going to play is called Wachet auf, ruft uns die Stimme, which basically means wake up and, and call us with your voices. So these two chorals are actually arranged for quintet um, by Uri Rom, who is a, a wonderful um, arranger of, uh, of chamber music and a composer. And um, this is for us a, a chance to play this uh, divine music, which is based on chorals who, which were sung at the time with our wind instruments. And I think for you it's a chance also to discover this music with... Um, instruments that are so different from each other. So basically, every voice gets a very different color connected to, to uh, the instrument that is um, representing this voice. And one of the chorals, Nadav maybe would add a word, one of the chorals is also uh, another layer was added, basically another counterpoint was added by Uri Rom, the composer, and this will be played by the horn. So I hope you enjoy. And Nadav, would you like to add anything? Okay. So we just wait uh, one more minute so the bassoon is fixed and then we continue. Thank you. 
Okay, so we are very sorry for this delay, uh, but uh, we had a technical problem with the instrument that just decided to lose one of his uh, screws. Uh, so in the meanwhile, uh, I'll sing something for you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but soon uh, the problem will be fixed and we will play the Bach chorals. Is it? It's working and uh, we continue. We continue the program. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, our next piece on the program will be uh, the first movement from uh, the string quartet written by Giuseppe Verdi. A Verdi, a very well-known composer, of course, uh, mostly by his operas. Uh, Verdi almost didn't write anything for chamber music, uh, and uh, we are going to play his experimental string quartet, uh, which he actually said it was an experiment, and um, the piece, of course, is, is very nice, it's beautiful, and it's played since then everywhere. Uh, and uh, the arranger, uh, Mordechai Rechtman, um, decided to uh, have a, a music by Verdi to a wind quintet, which is, of course, a lovely idea. Uh, and uh, he did this arrangement. Um, Mordechai Rechtman was a bassoon player of the Israel Philharmonic for many, many years. Uh, and he wrote also many, many, lots of arrangements. Uh, for this ensemble and for um, other ensembles, mostly for wind instruments. Uh, and um, and uh, that's it. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, you can hear the operatic atmosphere. And that's it. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you very much. Um, we're going to go on with a piece uh, somewhat different. Uh, it's called Claude's Tête by the French composer Jean-Philippe Calvin, uh, who was born in, in 1974 and happily is still alive. And um, this piece is actually based on klezmer music. So the names of the movement are Gefilte Fisch, which maybe some of you know, you know, a field. Uh, fish filled with some stuff inside. It's a very traditional Jewish uh, dish. And then we have the procession of the village, right? Let me make sure. Shtetl procession. Shtetl is also a very Yiddish word meaning a small village and it's describing the procession going through the village. And then we have a hora mazel, which is combining hora, which is a very traditional dance, very energetic. And mazel, which is a part of mazel tov, you know, which is being said, of course, in birthdays and weddings and so on. So um, we hope you enjoy this piece and I hope everyone is ready. Yes, we go on. Thank 
So we are going to play the last piece in tonight's program and I would like to invite the wonderful pianist Aviram Reichert to join us on stage. Please, please join us. Um, we are very happy to welcome him because he actually came all the way from Korea uh, to play with us, so we are super grateful for that. And maybe I'll let him say a few words on, on the Rhapsody in Blue. Thank you, Rui.
I would need a chair, so yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Aviram Reichert. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And it's, I'm delighted to play again with this wonderful uh, wind quintet, the Tel Aviv wind quintet. Uh, it's our second time together, but it seems to me like it's a match made in heaven. Um, so I hope it's not the last time. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Gershwin. The Rhapsody in Blue perhaps is its most famous uh, work and perhaps the, one of the most famous pieces that were written in the 20th century. Um, I often ask myself, why is it so um, popular? Why is it so catchy? What's, what's so good about it that everybody can, you know, ham a, a, or sing a tune from it at least, a one tune? Um, and I think that the key here is this ability of Gershwin to bridge the gap between the, the jazz, the blues, the soul, and the Cuban rhythms, um, and to bring that into the concert scene, into the concert hall, uh, but taking with him all the tradition of the European and the Russian way of compo composing. And that comes because of his background. Uh, Gershwin's father uh, immigrated from Russia, from Ukraine. Uh, the origin of the family is in Odessa. And his father's name was Moishe Gershovitz, a kosher Jew, as we say. And um, they immigrated to America, to Brooklyn, and um, changed the name, the family name, uh, to Gershwin. The father changed his name from Moishe to Moise. And George um, was born in Brooklyn and studied composition a little bit and then was rejected by the composition teacher saying that she just doesn't want to spoil his affinity for jazz and for blues. And so he started composing. Um, his compositions are, are taking what he heard in the street, what he heard um, around him, and with the tradition of composing, uh, perhaps that's part of his DNA uh, coming from a Russian family um, and he took that and made the style that we know so much that is Gershwin style, the undeniable style. That was also the inspiration for all the American composer to follow through, uh, such as Copland, such as Burstein, etc. For me, this piece is a, 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 a bit of a personal uh, work. Um, I studied in, in a high school, a art high school here, um, Tal Mayalin. And uh, as a, a junior in the, in, in, in the class, uh, I was chosen to be the substitute soloist for an orchestra, we, uh, for a, a performance with an orchestra. And, and my good friend, who was a senior, uh, was the main soloist and for a series of concerts. And I, of course, I attended all the concerts and I did the rehearsal. And I prayed to God that something will happen and I'll get a chance. And yes, something did happen, and I did get my chance to play. And so that, this piece was my first um, concerto appearance. And I've played it since in, in a different ensembles um, with a you know, woodwind quintet, uh, with a brass quintet, with a, a big bang. And I think this, this uh, arrangement here actually captivated, uh, cap capture the essence of the piece quite well, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you.
Thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight for this uh, very special program. We hope you had a nice time and we wish you a good night.